Are you working along on your MacBook and all of a sudden the program stops responding and you cannot do anything in the program? I want to take just a moment in this video and show you how to quit out of a frozen program that is no longer responding on your Mac. There are a couple ways you can do this. The first is you have your dock across the bottom. So let's say, for example, my MindNote program locked up and I couldn't do anything with it anymore. The first thing you always want to try is you want to come down to where the program icon is in your dock and you want to hold down the control button on your keyboard and then click on the icon and you'll see this little navigation menu pops up. If the app is truly frozen, you will see at the top it will say not responding and it'll be in bright red letters. If that's the case, instead of quit, one of the options you're going to see is force quit. Click on that. Hopefully, and many times, it will quit the app completely and you can open it back up and be up and running again. Now, it's a computer. You know, I hear people say all the time, you know, in this Windows versus Mac debate and all that stuff, you know, just, you know, it just works, no problems at all, any of that stuff. You know, a computer is a computer. That's what I tell everybody. I don't care if it's Windows, Mac, things happen. So if that doesn't do the trick, you do have a secondary option. If you go to the top left and click on the Apple logo icon, you're going to see this section called Force Quit. If you've ever worked on a Windows machine, you'll remember that Control-Alt-Delete, and you could open up that task manager, and then you could quit out of a program or just do that end task. This is kind of the same idea. So you'll come in here, and if one of my programs isn't responding, you'll actually see in red next to it, it'll say not responding. So let's say, for example, Google Chrome isn't responding. All I need to do is click on Google Chrome and click Force Quit and tell it to Force Quit, and it will instantly quit out. Then I can open it up and be back up and running again. It's a really, really quick way and really easy and just not very well known on how to quit a frozen app. Again, it doesn't happen often, but when it does, knowing the tricks is really nice to have. Now, once in a while, let me open my Firefox. I'll open my MindNode, for example, here. Let's say I'm in MindNode, and you'll see it's selected along the top here because it says MindNode in the top left. Let's say I try to click on that Apple logo icon, and it doesn't do anything. Once in a while, the program just completely freezes up. There is a little trick to get around that. You'll see my wallpaper I have off to the side around the program. So you've got my program window right here, but then you've got my wallpaper. If I just click somewhere on my wallpaper, you'll see that my node disappeared on the top left. Then it will allow me to click on that Apple logo icon. I can go to force quit, and then I can find my node in the list. Again, if it's truly not responding, you'll see it in red next to it. And I can click Force Quit, and boom, it's gone. So that's kind of a hidden little trick that not many people know about. If that program's just completely frozen and you can't click even on that Apple logo icon, just click somewhere in your background and get it off of that, and then you can click on that Apple logo icon and Force Quit. Now there's always what I call the nuclear option. If none of those work, just hold the power button down until the device shuts off completely, restart it. But and I've been working on a MacBook now for 15, 16 years, and probably I could count on one hand how many times I've actually had to use the power off method. And oftentimes it's due to me running on beta software and things like that that can get a little sketchy at times. So I hope you found this helpful in quitting an application that is no longer responding for you.